dear students of second standard 12 welcome back uh, today we are going to have a new topic very very fascinating topic very important topic the topic is biotechnology biotechnology Now in biology, this uh, biotechnology is very very young branch, or we can say the youngest branch, but it is very very important branch because lot of research is going on in this particular branch in biology. That is biotechnology. Now this technique, new technique, modern techniques are applied in various fields in biology. It is in the agriculture. It may be in the hobby agriculture. Maybe in the human medicines, like there so many branches, it is applied. So that we are going to study in this topic, biotechnology, specifically the applications of biotechnology. Where and how we are applying these technologies? That what we are going to study. Now, what actually is biotechnology? First, I have to give an outline of it. Biotechnology is mainly meant for altering the nature and the activities of a cell. The activities of a cell is a depending upon the genes. The genes are nothing but segments of DNA. Now, what we are doing in this by applying certain technique, we are altering the DNA. We are altering the genes. As a result of altering the genes, the character may be altered. The activity of the cell may be altered according to our wish. That is actually biotechnology. So, for biotechnology. Some important microorganisms are uh, uh, needed. Now, with the help of those microorganisms only, we can do. There are so many varieties of organisms. So, first, I would like to give some microorganisms a name. The first one is called E. coli bacteria. These bacteria are living in our large intestine. They are called E. coli. Yes, sir, is E. coli full name. But very shortly we can call it as E. coli bacteria. Then that is a, a mycobacterium. Okay. Next one is mycobacterium. It is another one type of a microorganism. Even in this also the biotechnological researches are going on. Okay. Then agrobacterium. Another one is agrobacterium. Now it is another one type of a bacteria. Agrobacterium. Now in this bacterium, lot of changes are taking place in the genes, and all are important to give us some new products. Like that, many. I am giving only three examples. Like that, many microorganisms are involved. Even if you take higher animals, biotechnology researches are going on in higher animals also. Like the, there is a rat. Rat is normally the experimental animal. Sometimes dogs. Even in dogs also, the researches are going on, and that is another one is a hamstring. It is a hamstring is another one organism. Okay, that another one a hamster. We can call it as hamster. Now this a hamster is a small animal which is looking like rat, but it is not rat. But it is a slightly bigger than the rat, and it is giving almost the features like the rat hamster. Now, like that, many animals are also involved, like sheep, goat, and other animals. Even in frog, lot of biotechnological researches are going on. So, with the help of these experimental animals, we are doing lot of researches, and we are bringing lot of new products. And these products are applied in the field of medicine, in the field of agriculture, in the field of horticulture, etc. So, that is actually the importance of biotechnology. So, some of the techniques what we are applying. In some of the fields, we are going to study as a basic uh, start knowledge about it. So we have to study some of the techniques applied in some fields. But it is ocean. Biotechnology is ocean. But we cannot do everything now in this small topic. So we are going to study only certain basic things. So we are going to study the first one: applications of biotechnology in the field of medicine. So we are going to study about applications. In the field of medicine, in the field of medicine. Now, we take what is this field of medicine? That is medical field. 
where the term bhaktas are there, they are studying, they are qualifying themselves and they are treating us various types of diseases. Suppose whenever we are suffering from malaria, we are suffering from tuberculosis, we are suffering from uh, there is so many other infectious diseases. Now we are treating. So that field is occurred by giving some medicine or by giving some physiology, physiotherapy, etc. So that is the field of medicine where the medicines are used to cure certain diseases. So in the field of medicine, we are applying a lot of techniques. We are applying a lot of techniques. That is called the applications of biotechnology in the field of medicine. Okay, the first one, what we are going to study is the recombinant. Okay, recombinant. Okay, recombinant means what I will tell you. What is the meaning of it? Human, okay, recombinant, human insulin. Recombinant human insulin. Say our body in lower classes we went up study. Our body is a having a gland called the pancreas. It is present below the stomach. It is attached with the duodenum. Okay. This is the uh, stomach. Okay. Now here the duodenum is a present. It is a U-shaped one. Here a small leaf-like flattened gland is a present. This gland is called the pancreas. This gland is called the pancreas. It is useful to produce pancreatic juice to digest the food in the duodenum. That is one. Now the pancreas is also acting as an endocrine gland. So there are certain patches in the pancreas. Patches of tissues. They are producing hormones. So the patches and the hormones produced by these patches are endocrine in function. These patches are called the islets. Islets of Langerhans. These patches are called islets of Langerhans. In the islets of Langerhans, there are two types of cells. In the islets of Langerhans, there are two types of cells. The first type of cells will be alpha cells. And the second type of cells will be beta cells. The beta cells are producing the enzyme, sorry, hormone called insulin. The beta cells are secreting a hormone called insulin. This insulin is very, very essential to regulate the glucose level in the blood. So this is very, very important. We are all normal. We are not diabetic. We are all normal. Our blood glucose level is normal, 120 to 140 milligram per 100 ml of blood. So for that means, the beta cells are secreting normal amount of insulin in our body. But for some people, for some people, the beta cells are not very active. They are not actively producing insulin. So the insulin production is very, very low every day. If the insulin is a deficient, that is low quantity, less quantity, then the blood glucose level is increasing. If the blood glucose level is increasing more than 140 mg of mercury per uh, 140 mg per 100 ml of blood, then the individual is a called a diabetic patient. Now when the blood glucose level is always higher, it is a spoiling the kidneys. The higher glucose level in the blood is a spoiling the uh, liver. It is a spoiling other important organs in our body, including brain, spinal cord, everything. So that leads to the death of the person. So our blood should have normal quantity of glucose for the normal insulin production is needed. If the insulin is a shortage or if the insulin is a deficient, then the person is suffering from diabetes. Diabetes means the blood glucose level is always higher, which will have consequences, just now I told. So for these patients, diabetic patients, how much insulin is less in a day, that insulin injection should be given. That means we have to prepare insulin. We have to collect and we have to preserve insulin. That insulin should be given. If the insulin is substituted, then the insulin level in diabetic patients will be normal, then they will be having normal glucose level in the blood. So for that, we have to give insulin. Now old method, first I want to do, before biotechnology, starting of biotechnology, old method, the people used to collect blood from other people and in that insulin will be the little. So they have to extract the insulin, they have to save it. That is human insulin. 
But for collecting little amount of insulin, large amount of blood should be taken from the individual. So that is waste in the blood. So now we are finding a new technique. We have to manufacture human insulin from the microorganism. Now how this uh, insulin is secreted from microorganism, but it is a human insulin that we have to see. See, that is called a recombinant DNA technology. Here, what is the meaning of recombinant DNA technology? So, DNA is nothing but the genetic material. It is a chemical. It is present inside the chromosome. The small small segments are called the genes. The small small segments are called the genes. I am taking one beta cell. Now, this is one beta cell. Now, in this nucleus is there. In the nucleus, lot of chromosomes are there. I will take one pair of chromosome. Now in this pair of chromosome, some genes will be present. One pair of genes will be present. Lot of genes and taking. These two genes are important for insulin production. So they are called insulin gene. Now the gene is called insulin gene. Okay. Now this insulin gene from human body cell, from the human beta cell, we have to isolate. Now that is, it is a segment of DNA. Now normally we are keeping dot, but it not be like this. It will be a small piece of DNA. It will be like this. So this is the DNA or gene of insulin. Now we have to take this gene. Now this is the gene. What we have taken from human beta cell. Now what we have to do is, this insulin gene should be introduced into a microorganism. Now the microorganism is a nothing but E. coli. Just before I told, it is a bacterial cell, E. coli bacteria. Now in the E. coli bacteria, already one circular DNA is there. It is the original DNA. It is called a circular DNA. It is the DNA of the bacterial cell. In the front of genes are there. They are controlling the activities of E. coli. But apart from the circular DNA of the E. coli bacterial cell, one more small circular DNA is present. It is something special in E. coli. It is called a plasmid. Normally other organisms are not having this plasmid. Only in some bacteria we can find this plasmid. Now we are having this human insulin gene taken from beta cell. Now we have to introduce this human insulin gene and we have to make it to join with the, this plasmid. Now human insulin gene should be incorporated. Once the human insulin gene is incorporated, the plasmid is called, the plasmid of E. coli is called the recombinant plasmid. Recombinant means something is coming and the combining with it. Something from outside the cell is coming and joining. That is called the recombinant plasmid. Once the human gene is the, uh, that is a, uh, incorporated here, now what will happen? When the cell is multiplying and when the cell is uh, doing this activity, the human insulin gene is making the cytoplasm of the bacterial cell to produce human insulin. The chemical will be produced, the hormone will be produced. So each and every cell, now what they will do after incorporating this human insulin gene, they will make this E. coli cell to multiply. Enormous number, millions and millions of cells will be produced. But each cell is producing little amount of the insulin. Now what they will do, from the microorganism that is E. coli, the insulin will be extracted. The insulin is exactly human insulin produced by beta cells because the gene is taken from beta cells. So this insulin is human insulin, not bacterial insulin. So they have to extract this human insulin, they have to purify and they have to preserve it. That human insulin extracted from E. coli bacterial cells are sold in the hospitals, sold in the medical shop. So the diabetic patients are taking this insulin and they are injecting into their blood. That is actually called a recombinant human insulin. This human insulin is secreted by using the recombinant DNA with the E. coli DNA. This is the first application of the biotechnology in the field of medicine.